What's up, Outdoorsman Greg here. The other day, I found a huge buck in the marsh. Today, I'm gonna figure out how to kill him. It's late October. The rut is in full swing here in coastal Georgia. These, these bucks rut early, late October. It's the peak of the rut. I can't hunt this afternoon, so it's the middle of the day. I'm gonna go find a way to kill this buck because he's a monster. It's about 875 degrees out today but the bucks are still running. I had one come to the rattling home this morning, so, and the last the time before that, I had one come to the can call, the doe bleat. So the bucks are ruddy. I just gotta find a good setup and a, for a good wind to go kill this buck. So I'm gonna go figure it out. See that? Somebody else knows about this buck. I gotta get him first. Upon further inspection, that thing is pretty rusty, so it's been here for a minute. There's a nice little hidden water hole, and it's very, very hot here. Heavy trails leading to this. This is good. This is a great afternoon spot. I found lots of deer sign, trails, poop, droppings, uh, small rubs, but nothing that says big buck yet. So I'm gonna keep going back towards his bed and see if I can set up closer to his bed. Big convergence of trails right here. Lots of tracks. Good to know. What kind of acorn is this? And deer like them, I'm assuming. That's the first whole one I've seen, and I've seen lots of caps, so that tells me the deer like them. That's why there's so many trails here. These big acorns are falling. I'm gonna have to Google what kind they are, but I am gonna show you something about these acorn caps, a pretty cool thing you can learn. When an acorn cap is all chewed up like this one, that's a squirrel. He chews the cap to get to the nut. You see how this one just has one little clip taken out of it? That's from a deer. The deer only has teeth on their lower jaw and they clip one side pull, to pull the nut out. I've noticed that I find a lot of sign in these big palm thickets. So I think they feel safe in here. There are a ton of acorns right here. A ton of tracks, big rubs, big bucks. It's a monster rub. Still see the marks from his tines in the wood. That's fresh. And I'm getting back towards that big bucks area. I'm pretty sure he's following this little creek. That's how he's moving around. I'm gonna get this buck. He's going down. Looks like he's crossing right here. That buck is bedded straight that way, about maybe 150, 200 yards, straight that way. The wind is blowing northeast right now, so he can't smell me if he's bedded in that same spot. I got the camera set up, and uh, I'm going to lock it down and get the heck out of here. I think this is where every deer in the whole area is crossing this creek. I tried to cross it earlier and I sunk like six inches, so I bet the deer don't like walking through it there. I bet if I cross right here, it's not gonna sink. And the deer know that too. I'm marking this spot. Back at the truck, that was fun. I'm sweaty, so once again, it is 8,000 degrees out here, but I'm glad I did it. Found a lot of sign. 
I'm even more confident that there is a big buck worth hunting back there. So, I don't feel like I got any closer to killing him. Honestly, I don't feel like my scouting efforts helped me all that much, but I did hang a camera. And I think, I think it's in a good spot to get a picture of him. So, I'll let the camera cook for a couple of weeks and if I don't get him this year, well, I know where he's living. And I can set up on him for next season. I don't feel like I have a bulletproof setup, honestly. I feel like I'm marginal. He's in a good spot. He's he's tucked away in that little impenetrable cove and you can't get in on him. He's too loud. You wouldn't be able to sneak in on him if he was already in the bed. And then if you went in there really early, a couple hours before daylight, and hopefully he was still out chasing and trying to catch him coming back to his bed. I don't know. There's really nowhere you can get. It's so thick. And the trees are stubby and short. and It'd be tough. It'd be tough to get him. I think my best bet is to hunt the fringes of his core area, which I know where his core area is, with the right wind and hopefully a hot doe or we'll get him coming my way or in the late afternoon hunt maybe he'll get up and start moving before dark that's the plan thanks for watching appreciate it you guys get outdoors